Hi everybody, I have a, well, I have five reviews to do, but I'm going to start with this one here, and it's a long time coming, I apologize. Before I get started, real, real quick, I am just going to share with you what I'm wearing, uh, because I'll get comments and questions about that. So, um, love Estee Lauder, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and what I do is I mix it with um, their Advanced Night Repair Serum on the back of my hand. And then I take my old Bare Essentials brush and I, and I buff that on my face. And that kind of gives the more airbrushed finish, which I like. And it's quick. <laughs> and um, for my lips, it's a new color called uh, Stay Mulberry. And this color is, um, well, I put it on 2.30 and it's past, it's almost 6.30 right now. And it hasn't come off. I love, love the Double Wear lipsticks. They're the ones that look like this here. They're more matte and creamy. Fabulous. And um, I have even a little gloss over it too and it's stayed. Then I use the Double Wear eyeshadow base in blue velvet. And I did that to smoke it out. And then I even used a double, no, it's not Double Wear. Estee Lauder Hot Cinnamon eyeshadow to smoke it out. So anyways, on to the book review. Uh, oh yeah, the nail polish is by Finger Paint or something. I got Sally Beauty Supply on sale and it's just hot, hot metallic, insane pink. Not metallic, just insane. Okay, Jude Devereux, River Lady. This book uh, is based in the 1800s and it's about a woman in Virginia who goes to Kentucky with her person. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but... Um, Basically, the book started off really weird. I wasn't even sure if I'd be comfortable reading it. It started off with, like, the sister, who's a whore, and then this other sister, who's taking care of her family, and the good, the not whore sister is like, oh, I, um, love Mr. So-and-so, the rich man, and I want him to love me, too. And then the rich man happens to come into the tavern. Is my lighting just turned blue? Sorry, you don't need lighting. Turn blue. You can't say whore. Did you, did you I said prostitute. I said whore. Lady of the night. <laughs> I shouldn't say whore on YouTube. I should say prostitute or lady of the night. Thank you, Jason. I was outside in the heat all day long. Okay. Shh. So, Just this lady talks to this man while he's in the tavern, and uh, as he leaves, she races out and kind of jumps him. Oh, see my lighting changed and they frolic a bit and um, this happens at the beginning of the book so it's not really a spoiler she ends up pregnant and they end up go traveling to Kentucky together um, with some other people and there's adventures along the way as they're pioneering out there and there's sexy time along the way and there's anger and things and um, I would say that as far as Jude Devereux goes. This is not one of my favorite books by her, but what it is, it's because it's one of her earlier romance novels before she became um, a more just generalized fiction writer. So, you know, can't hate, but it's not one of my favorites by her. Um, it was a little hard to push through. I had to kind of, you know, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. She hates you. You hate her. So if you don't hate her, I don't know. It was just kind of a long, kind of long book. Um, not really long, but like, I don't know. It took a while for me to read. It took longer than I expected it to. Anywho, so that's River Lady by Jude Devereux. My little just two cents about that book. Stay tuned because there's like four more reviews coming up.